How good a job is Juve Rosler doing at Wigan? Got to say, fantastic things he's doing there. To find out a little bit more, we're joined by journalist Kristen Hanish. He's on Pizza Cam. Kristen, how you doing? I'm not too bad, thanks, guys. Good, good. Has uh, Dave Whelan unearthed the next Roberto Martinez? I think I think so. It, it, it's funny. He's actually Rosler's actually been very keen on stressing how much he's learned from Martinez um, and the way he worked things at Wigan. And I think if you look at the way he's really transformed Wigan since arriving in December, you could certainly say that Wigan have got themselves another fantastic manager. And not just because of that FA Cup run, just because they're in the, the playoffs as well and they've been able to, to handle the two situations quite well. How's he done it? Well, he, as I said, then, he, he's done it by kind of learning from Martinez. Against Man City, the, the kind of now infamous 2-1 victory that he had, he said he took a lot from the, the FA Cup final the previous season in which they won and he implemented a 3-4-1-2. Um, he's been very possession-based. He's been very keen to uh, try and keep players that are good technically on the ball and thrive in a style that a lot of the players have known from their time with Martinez and, and even slightly further back. Are they the favourites going into the playoffs? I just wonder, they've played 57 games, whether that might count against them. They, they have played 57 games, but they've also been to Wembley four times in the last 12 months. And I think... You know, you, you talk about that big game experience, not being overawed by the, the occasion that is Wembley. Um, I think that serves Wigan in great stead. And equally, they do have a very deep squad as well. There's a lot of talented players in there. McEachern, Powell, they've really used the loan market very well this season, I think. Um, and although perhaps QPR and teams like that significantly outspend Wigan, I would definitely tip Wigan for the, the playoffs if I was choosing today. And what about the long haul? Is he there for the long haul? Because at some stage, Wigan, with all due respect, it's not like the, the club you're going to finish your managerial career at. For, let's face it, you know, he's got a very, very good chairman in Whelan. But, like, is he there for the long haul? He's already been linked with Eintracht Frankfurt in Germany. Um, he's he'd done a little bit of time in Norway prior to this. So you could argue from Norway to Wigan, or from Norway to Brentford, rather, then to Wigan, it's kind of a progression that's steady enough. I think he'll, he'll want to establish himself at Wigan and almost prove his own credentials and equally improve his own experience because he is still very new to English football in that sense. So I think eventually, much like Martinez, you'll see a point where he's reached his glass ceiling at the football club and is then allowed to, to move on. And I think Dave Whelan, as we saw with the way he handled Martinez, he won't stand in his way. And if anything, he'll try and do right by his manager. Yeah, but that was because as time went by, it, it, it got to a stage where Martinez was literally, you could feel that he was outgrowing it. Next season, because of what he's done so quickly at Wigan now, he wouldn't go. Would he go? I think if they don't get promoted, there's every chance he could go. Because, again, it, it's that idea of it depends on the project. I think, you know, you look at Martinez, you mentioned him again. There was jobs that he spurned, and I think he had to have the right project. And I think Rosler's completely the same. I'm certain on picking the right job, because if it's not a good fit, then as we saw with, with all the Solskjaer at Cardiff there this season, it can actually hamper your own chances and your own perception in football. So I think Rosler will have to pick the right project. If he stays another year, my gut instinct says yes, he stays at least another year at Wigan before even considering a move. Kristen, thanks for your time. Kristen Hanij there on Pizza Cam. He thinks that we're going to get promoted. What do you think? Let us know on Twitter at Ball Street. I'm going to hear more about uh, Juve's former club, Brentford, in our League One section. <laughs> <laughs>